Side, Michael St. John and the Saw International Heavyweight Champion, Kid Cash. Now, recently, fans voted top three vote getters of who would have a match with the champion. The winner of the vote was Cassidy Riley. Unfortunately, Cassidy Riley has been in Hollywood filming for a new wrestling video game. He broke his ankle and as a result will be out from four to six weeks. And unfortunately, Cassidy Riley will not be able to fulfill that contract. Champ, what do you think of that? The truth behind it all is Cassidy O'Reilly got home the other night and realized what he got himself into. So the truth is there is no broken ankle. What it is is fear. Fear of me because I am the most dominant wrestler in this decade. The last decade and anywhere in between. Let me tell you something. Just like I told every single body last week when I won this from Damian Adams, I beat him down like a little dog, a little Puerto Rican dog. He's back on the boat right now, hiding under a sheet, trying to get back into Puerto Rico. Like I told him and everybody else, you people better shut your mouth or I'm coming back there and I will slap every freaking one of you. I am a champion, a true world champion. This company has never seen anything like me before. So I told everybody just last week, and I told you too, you little twerp, anybody, anywhere, anytime, you want some of this, come get some of this. Well, Kid Cash, the international champion, you're a man of your word. And that means you too, chubby. You want some of this? I know you're sitting there each and every week wishing that you had what it takes to get back up in this ring and be a champion. Well, you're never going to do it because it's never going to happen. And if it ever did, it'd be like a big dream. I'd wake you up real quick. Well, Mr. Cash, wait, wait a minute. Whoa, Chris Cage. Chris. You know, Cash, I hear you. What do you want? I hear you back out here. You're out here talking. Shut up, Frodo. You didn't come out here and interrupt my interview time, you little punk. Now, you got all them Let's hear what you got to say. What I've got to say is I may not be on the hot set with all these people out here in the crowd. I may not be on the hot set with everybody with saw management. But I do know that I've come out here week in, week out, and busted my butt. Unlike you, I have tried to earn the respect of these people. Now, you calling me Frodo? You're calling me Frodo? I'm short. Like really well, you know what? Maybe if I can't get the respect out of them, maybe I can get it out of you. So what do you say? Let's go right now. Kid, I think he's made a challenge. Am I hearing you right, you little <laughs> You want some of me? A world champion versus... Does he got a name? Chris Kane. What's your name? I'm Chris. That's what I thought. You want some, you little punk? You want to try a shot at this belt? Well, I tell you what, slap your face. Get up in here, let's see. Chris Kane, the challenge with none other than the champion right here, coming up next on Saw. Well, Michael St. John, here we go. Here we go, Michael St. John with the challenger. Chris Kane answering the call to Kid Cash. You know, I, I, I can't believe that Kid Cash would treat Chris Kane the way he did, but Chris Kane, I'll tell you, he's got the biggest set in all of Saw right now, stepping up to the plate after Cassidy Riley unable to make this event. I would pretty much have to agree with you. Chris Kane, like I said, week in and week out, he hasn't backed down from anybody. He's like a little spark plug here at SAW. And the bell's ringing. Bell time, and we're ready. The title is on the line. Chris Kane against Kid Cash, and let's see what Kane can do, and he wanted to get the fans behind him, but of course we know that the fans are not in the corner of Chris Kane, but in this situation, 
goodness knows who you're going to pull for. Well, you definitely know they're not in the corner of Kid Cash. Chris Kane, he just may be your uh, who you're pulling for by default at this point. But look right here. This right here, I tell you what, Chris Kane, his, his wrestling ability may not be able to match Kid Cash's, but Kid Cash with the intensity, but Chris Kane's not going to back up from Cash. Well, you know, you've said often, Reno, and we've mentioned it on the program, that Kid Cash has held numerous titles in just about every three-letter and four-letter organization in wrestling, but a situation in coming to Saw, he came in like a, like a tornado and hit this place and took the gold belt and he's literally offered a challenge to anybody that answers the bell. He has. He's came into SAW, a loose cannon, a buzz saw. He's very tenacious in his approach. And here's Kid. Look at this. Chris Kane, what an upset this would be. Boy, Chris Think Kane, about it. nice arm drag. And then right away, the champ went into the eyes and raked at the eyes of Chris Kane. Now here comes some chairs into the ring. I'll oh. tell you, that Kid Cash. I, I respect him as a rough, tough, tough customer, but I do not like the fact that he disrespects any and everybody each and every week. Well, I, I tell you, Mike, usually, you know, once a week or once every other week, we'll have an individual meeting with the talent here at SAW. And um, I, that, is, that is not the meetings I, that I generally look forward to. Well, Kid Cash getting into another altercation with one of the fans at ringside who's Did you see removed that? his shirt. He went out there and ripped the, ripped the shirt right off the guy. Good gracious alive. Well, this Kid Cash, I'm telling you, this is not a, not a nice individual, but he is the champion, and he goes right after Chris Kane with that right hand, and he's biting at him. I mean, this guy, he will stop at nothing to teach a lesson to some of these young wrestlers, but, boy, when he gets up against competition, tough competition in the saw he steps his game up as well. well i remember years ago when i used to step in the ring with some of these old wiley veterans outlaw ron bass junkyard well junkyard was always always a pretty good he was in always good humor when i wrestled him but uh you know outlaw ron bass hercules hernandez managed by bobby the brain heenan and Kid Cash comes in here. He loves to take on these younger guys. He loves to teach them a lesson. He likes to let them know how hard that mat is. But Chris Kane, he's a little spark plug. I mean, I mean I've never wanted to ever take anything away from him. I mean, this guy, he's, he's not the biggest guy in the world. And I do admire his guts to step in the ring with a very accomplished Kid Cash. And when he gets in the ring, he gives no quarter. And there you're seeing he's about to break the arm right off of Chris Kane. Chris Kane with an awful lot of guts in this match to step in there. This should have been Cassidy Riley, as we talked about. Cassidy Riley voted by the fans, the number one contender. And uh, unfortunately, breaking an ankle while on a film shoot in California for a brand new wrestling video game. And I understand he's gonna be out for several weeks. Yes, he was out in California, just one of those freak things that happened. He was out there working to uh, 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 film a, a video game and just uh, unfortunately, you know, he uh, uh, broke his ankle and was unable to uh, fulfill today's commitment of taking on Kid Cash and uh, young Chris Kane stepping up here to the plate saying, well, hey, if you don't have a contender, hey, I'll throw my hat in the ring. Chris Kane crippled by Kid Cash going downstairs and Cash right away turns his attention to the fans at ringside. So Cash feeling pretty froggy that he's got this match in hand. And as I say that, Chris Kane comes firing back with his best flurry of the match. Hard right hands and hard forearms. Cash is reeling on the ropes, sent across the way, and now comes back off the ropes with a kick to the chest and stomps downstairs at Kane again. Oh, my goodness. As you can see, Chris Kane right now giving it everything he has. He's bleeding from the mouth and then being kicked as, as a low blow like that. That right there, there, there's no place in that sport. And there you can see Chris Kane being brutalized by the Saw International Heavyweight Champion, Kid Cash. And Cash now stomping onto the face of Chris Kane. And it's gotten to a point now where Kid Cash is almost tormenting the man and playing with him because I think he could win this match just about at any point. Michael, you make a great point. You know, I really don't know how much Chris Chris Kane has in the tank and has in the tank. And look at these look at these cross faces. Kid Cash is just popping him one right after the other. 
He seems like he's more interested in fighting the fans in the crowd than he is his opponent at this point. Well, if there is a chink in the armor with Kid Cash, it seems to be that he has rabid ears, and that's an old baseball expression when you're paying attention to what people in the crowd are yelling. He is. It looks like the fan that he'd ripped the shirt off of went and got him a, maybe he went to the concession stand or to the, uh, to the souvenir table and got him another T-shirt. And he's back in action. But here comes Chris Kane now. And Kane firing back with all he's got left in the tank. And going after Cash, he's got Cash reeling. The champion put against the ropes. Set across the way, coming out. Kick to the midsection. Here's Kane coming off. High knee to the side of the head. Neck breaker, and we may have an upset brewing. He needs to Kane. go for a cover, Michael. One, two, and oh, oh. very close. Count of oh, two goodness. is all he got. I tell you, Michael, it's not really the fact that I'm cheering for Chris Kane. It's just the fact that I'm cheering against Kid Cash. I'm not so sure that I didn't see the referee's hand go down the third time, but the referee was quick to say it's only two. And now Kane has Cash again. And as I say that, Cash goes downstairs for the third time, picks him up. Oh, oh. with that spine-busting suplex, covers him for the count of one, two, and three, and Kid Cash wins over Chris Kane, who was utterly overmatched in this one. Well, there you have it, Kid Cash once again. Hold, hold, holds Chris Chris Kane up for that brain buster that he's, that he's beaten so many opponents with. And look at this. Once again, your winner is Kid Cash, and he still retains the Saw International title. Now look at here we go. He's We've into it with somebody in the, in the crowd. We've got a here brawl comes here in the crowd. And somebody out of the crowd trying to come across the ropes, and they're going to have to pull He's going rip to rip the guy's shirt again. Look at here. Look at this. There's just no place for this. Boy, I'll sure, tell you, the Saw Board of Directors is going to have to look into a situation like this. Well, I'm sure definitely Commissioner Freddie Morton is going to get to see a reel of this. Michael, good luck in your interview over there. Chris Cash, or Kid Cash, winning a victory over a very fired up Chris Kane, and Cash getting the win. We're gonna try to get a word with Kid Cash. What is your problem? What do you want? Whatever you wanted to say, here's the mic. Did you or did you not just see what happened to that little punk nobody? Did you see what happened to this trailer trash with two shirts ripped off of him? Because you're a boy, not a man like me. Don't make me slap you again. It don't matter. Give me my belt. This is mine. Jerry Lynn, you run your mouth, I'll slap you around like there's no tomorrow. Chase Stevens, anybody else? How about Big Fat Hammer, that big truck driver, that big fat guy? How about him? Or how about you? How about you, boy? Huh? You want it? You want it? Huh? Do you want it? Do you think you can handle it? You're just like that little punk right there. Your little skin and bones. You got skin and bones. Look at you. You couldn't even tie my shirt.